So the number one question I get asked on my podcast is, can you go to Liberty Tree Tavern and order just the Uwe Bean And the answer is yes, because I'm about to go do it right now. Hello there friends, it's Emma here, the Bookish Princess. I thought what better way to wish you all a happy 4th of July than to take you to lunch at Liberty Tree Tavern. This is one of my family's favorite places to go, mostly because of that ooey gooey toffee cake. Now as you'll see, we actually were tempted by some of the other menu items and we did uh, pick a few things to split, which they were so nice, they even split it up onto two plates back in the kitchen. However, if you want to just come in and only order the ooey gooey, that is okay too, because I can confirm we have done that in the past. The waiters here are just so nice and laid back and of course I love the decor all the colonial rooms and details I was a huge fan of Felicity Merriman the American Girl doll growing up so this is such a fun restaurant to visit the ooey gooey is coming but this cannot be wasted none of the cheese sauce can be wasted I think it takes to go. It be we have to eat all of it it's that good i don't think you guys understand never before has livery tree tavern had something like sort of savory to rival the ooey gooey now they The legendary ooey gooey taffy cake. See, some of you are probably thinking, now Emma, you ate all that cheese, so how are you going to finish the ooey gooey taffy cake? And you're correct. I didn't eat it. I'm going to put it in a cup and eat it later, and it'll be a delicious mash of ice cream. I'll eat it for you. Don't give me dirty look. So when we came in here, he said, oh, this is the Betsy Ross group, the alleged creator of the first American flag. And I was like, excuse me, Betsy Ross sewed the first American flag. I looked it up on Wikipedia, and Betsy Ross's daughter said she made the flag. So why would I disbelieve Betsy Ross's daughter? I absolutely believe it. And besides, like it also said on Wikipedia that it like had already been a part of lore before they started like with the production. Like people just knew it was Betsy Ross. Why would I doubt their word? It was so Betsy Ross. I don't appreciate it. Why did they have to ruin everything? Emma is outraged. Well, I mean, I know. Yeah, yeah, like if there are new facts come to life, you know, there are no new facts. Why would you take that away from us? Um, or mostly, why would you bother to tell me that at the Liberty Train, where I'm here to enjoy Americana and colonial? It was some guy from the Netherlands. He probably doesn't even know. He doesn't. Betsy Ross. He doesn't understand the deep connection I have to Betsy Ross. I had. We went to Betsy Ross's house when I was little. I bought one of her little flags. I I love Betsy Ross. Team Betsy Ross, right here. This is such a pretty restaurant. I like these big windows. The restrooms are upstairs. You can also look out over the lobby up here, which is kind of fun. These are actually really small bathrooms, so if there's a line, don't bother. 
At Liberty Tree Tavern, each seating area is themed after a different figure from the Revolutionary War. We've been to Liberty Tree Tavern a lot over the years, so we have gotten to eat in all the rooms. So I thought I'd do a little flashback here. Uh, the Jefferson Room is in that kind of hallway there, which this is probably a little bit louder because you have a lot of waiters passing to and from uh, the kitchens. I think I like the rooms off to the side better, the Washington Room and the Benjamin Franklin Room. We were actually sitting in the Washington Room when uh, the they closed the park for uh, Hurricane Matthew when we were there doing that a couple years ago. But I love all the details in the Washington room. Guys, I just noticed a secret fire extinguisher in the George and Martha Washington room. Isn't it cool? Fun fact, the ooey gooey toffee cake tastes delicious no matter what room you eat it in. <laughs> <laughs> Just off to the right of the main lobby where you check in is the Paul Revere room. So we have been sitting in the Paul Revere room and appropriately there's a copy of Paul Revere's Drive by Longfellow. It's a nice little fireplace. I love these windows. Yeah, up there is the Betsy Ross room. There's a picture of Betsy on the wall. Does anybody else remember when they used to have those cute Liberty Tree Tavern mugs? Anyway, the painting on the wall behind me there is John Paul Jones, a naval commander from the Revolutionary War. He also gets a room. It's the room right off to the left of like the main lobby where you first come in. And then the last room is the Benjamin Franklin room. Last year at Liberty Tree Tavern, we actually sat there, although it was in this weird little corner and Hamilton fan that I am, I wanted to imagine that it was the Alexander Hamilton room. So here's some of the clips from that trip. I'm trying to figure out what room this is because down there is John Paul Jones. You see all the nautical stuff, all the ships. So John Paul Jones. And then back there you see is Franklin. And there's um, a printing press in the corner. I think there used to be a huge type. See this is just like a little corner. That's the Constitutional Convention maybe. Or is that the signing of the Declaration of Independence? One or the other. See, so this could be part of the Franklin Room, or it could be his own room. I think this is the I think this is the Hamilton Room. We should officially no, no, you should. make it the Hamilton Room. Athos just told me there's a Hamilton cocktail, and I was like, really? And then he's like, no, I'm not. Why would you do that? It could be called the room where it happens. Or no, that's not a very good. Movie. What would it be a good one? I did! I just met a family who um, were so nice. Hi guys, if you're watching. Fish and chips for the win. We're splitting so that we have more room for ooey gooey. Best desserts in all of all Disney World. Chocolatey cookies. Oh yeah, I wonder if our friends ordered it. We suggested they would. We tell everybody to order this, <laughs> to be honest. I can't tell from their table. They just finished their lunch, so they might be one fun thing they've done at the Liberty Tree Tavern for years is that when you check in and they seat you at your table, um, they ask what state or country you're from, and then they give you a warm colonial welcome. No retrospective of Liberty Tree Tavern would be complete without a nod to the Tri-Corner Roast Beef Sandwich. You guys have probably heard me mention this in various vlogs in the past. They haven't had it for years, but gosh, when they did, was it amazing. It had coleslaw, roast beef, oh, it was so good. To close out our Liberty Tree Tavern flashbacks, I thought I'd dig up some photos from our very first visit to Liberty Tree Tavern. This actually used to be a character meal, and Minnie, Goofy, the chipmunks were dressed up in colonial outfits, doesn't Minnie's outfit look a little bit like Felicity's uh, Christmas blue gown? It totally does. Anyway, thank you guys for coming along on this stroll down Liberty Tree Tavern memory lane. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a magical day.